Welcome to another NBA scouting report video presented by 2K Labs, of course, over here on Sleepers Media YouTube channel. My name is Carter Elliott. I am here with Riley Davis, and this video is breaking down, honestly, one of my, one of my, I think, more underappreciated guards in college basketball last season, just because I was a big fan of this game and the way he put the orange thing in the 10-foot thing. We are breaking down Boogie Ellis, guard from USC, transferred in from was it was it memphis they transferred mm -hmm. in from originally, originally committed originally, to duke? originally a duke commit that seems like so long ago but ended up having a really good career at usc uh made some all pack 12 teams was a high high scoring guy on heavy volume but not too bad percentage wise what is one word you would use to describe boogie ellis he's a bucket that's like there there are levels to bucket. I also use bucket to describe Dalton Connect, who I think has a much brighter pro future. But when Boogie Ellis is on the court, that's what he's there to do. Yeah, I had his heat check. <laughs> like oh, he, I like that he, a lot. Yeah, he, yeah. He was one of the guys that like he when he got it going, like he was filling it up. And it wasn't just like awfully tough shots. Like honestly, I'm I'll talk a little bit more about it, but I'm very interested to see what Boogie Ellis looks like once he kind of gets into like maybe a different team, different role, because he was doing a lot of stuff in pick and roll that I was actually pretty impressed with that mm -hmm. gives me a little bit of a, a good feeling about maybe what the rest of his career might be in the NBA. Uh, so for ceiling and floor, where do you have Boogie Ellis? Where do you have him reaching his ceiling or his floor? Yeah, and uh, I like him as a player. Like you, you were saying, he was fun to watch in college, but I said floor just because it, for skinny guards like that who are sort of combo-y, it's, it's – unfortunately a safer bet just for them to hit their floor it's hard for those guys to stick and it's even harder for <laughs> media guys like us just to like project what's going to happen yeah I, I said floor as well also you just know what he is like he's he's played a lot of years he's gonna be like 24 by the time he's drafted i he just kind of is what he is and mm -hmm. i think his best bet is him just kind of embracing that um what do you have as the best team fit for boogie ellis I said the Clippers because it seems like they just have a history of of finding these skinny combo type guards who can just be dynamic six men for them and come off the bench and like just get buckets. Yeah, I had the Wizards um, just because like I think him <laughs> and Jordan Poole can just have fun doing <laughs> do him offense like that. That'll probably be very enjoyable for both of them. I, it, it, it's kind of hard to be perfect fits for these guys that might be on two ways, but mm -hmm. uh, I, I can see the wizard. He could also be a wizards uh, summer league legend. Boogie Ellis is definitely in contention for being a, a summer league legend. Be on the lookout for that. Uh, what are the peak year stats for Boogie Ellis? Look like? What is his best statistical year in the NBA look like? I'll give him a year of getting nine points per game on like 37% shooting, maybe tack on two assists with it. Okay. Okay. That's not too bad. I had him at actually 12 points a game, two rebounds, two assists on 37% shooting. I think that's, but, that's probably what it looks like. His shooting, I will say, like he is small. And that's always going to work against him, but he's not like, He's not like an erratic shooter who's either hot or cold. Like he had, what was it? Three, he had three straight years, uh, actually four straight years. He played five years of college ball, four straight years of shooting 38% or better from three. Um, 87 made threes this past year, 83 the year before. Like the dude, the dude, he can shoot. Yeah, he could definitely shoot the ball. I mean, I, I, I think the scoring is, if he gets in the right spot, he can find it. He's just a guy I think needs a lot of things to go his way, given his size and other things. Um, so in five years, Boogie Ellis is most likely to be all NBA, all star, starter, bench, G League guy, or podcaster. G League, he just strikes me as the type of dude who's, I mean, he'll get his shot. He'll probably spend a year or two in the league, um, maybe even more, but he strikes me as a guy who's going to be bouncing back and forth from the, the G League to the NBA for most of his career. I said overseas, actually. Because I think Boogie's just going to one day say F this and go play for Olympiacos and be like first team all year only. And uh, he would light it up overseas. He would sure. light it up. I think that might, he might be like, this is just, and he's great at getting fits off. I don't know if you follow Boogie Ellis on IG. Like he would go crazy overseas. Like the fits would be immaculate. Everything would be the aesthetic, the aura, everything would fit for him. Um, what is Boogie Ellis most likely to? 
most likely to get a draft day fit off. Even if he's going with the with the 58th pick, even if he's not getting drafted, there's going to be – we're going to get live footage from him at his draft party at home, and he's going to be fitted. I, I agree. I, th- I had him as most likely to be in the most improved player conversation at least one year in his career. I like Just that's one. that's a really good one. Just too. be in the conversation. Like that's someone's a- going to try to be different, and he shouldn't be in there, but they're going to be like, yeah, you know what? Boogie Ellis deserves a shout as most improved because he put up 12 this year. And that I think I think that's how it's going to end up end up going for Boogie Ellis. But we have 74 of these other videos on this channel. Be sure to check them out uh, and make sure you like, subscribe and everything good like that. The NBA draft is coming up and I've got something awesome for you. We are partnering with the people at NBA 2K Lab. NBA 2K is the best video game on earth. The people at 2K Lab are making some awesome stuff to make that game even more fun. And they just launched their 2024 NBA Draft Simulator, where you can find the official Sleepers Media Big Board. We ranked our top 75 players in this draft class. Me, Carter, Brian Ralph, Riley Davis. We did it together. And it is featured on the 2K Lab NBA Draft Simulator. You can take control of any team in the draft, Play GM with just one click and see our entire rankings before these videos even come out. Check out the link in the description of this video to try out the draft sim for yourself. And you can find more mini games at nba2klab.com slash nba-mini-games.